my favorite actors from Degrassi here, Melinda Shankar and Monroe Chambers. Thank you for dropping by, guys. Anytime. No um, you guys are working on a very important and special initiative with Kids Help Phone. So what's that all about? What's your involvement? Well, um, Kids Help Phone is a fantastic organization for kids who are going through a lot of trouble and um, in their own lives mm -hmm. with difficulties and with us being on Degrassi and the characters that we play who do go through a lot of troubles in their own lives, it's a great connection. It's a great friendship that Degrassi and Kids Help Home can have together. And I feel like, you know, a lot of kids look up to us because, you know, some people are embarrassed to come out with their problems because, you know, sometimes it's a personal thing that maybe you don't have someone to go to and ask for help or maybe you're just kind of shy, but mm -hmm. people think that they can connect with us because we're going through it and kind of on TV and real issues. Um, and Kids Health Phone is one of those anonymous organizations that you yes. can go get your problem out, get help, and, you know, feel happy that you accomplished something. And then on May 1st, there is a Walk for Kids Help Phone, right? Yeah. Are you guys involved in that? Are you going to be participating? Hopefully, if we're not working, yeah. we'll be walking. But yeah. I said the only way I'm going to go is if I get to walk in my heels. Same. That would be a great challenge. <laughs> no, there's actually you easier. You, too. too. That would my, be my a great heels. challenge. He's going to wear his heels, too. <laughs> Why not, <laughs> right? <heels. laughs> so Sunday, May 1st, is the Walk for Kids Help Phone. We've had the website up, walkforkidshelphone.ca, so you guys can get involved and make pledges. And it's happening all over Canada, right? Which is yeah, really cool. all around Canada. I don't know where exactly they are, but they're going through all Canada, yeah. and it's, it's a great organization. Go out and walk. And I guess like on a on a day to day basis, you guys are on Twitter and you get lots of I'm sure you get fan mail and stuff like that. What have, have there been any particular special moments where fans have really reached out to you and you I remember think that? Um, out of many of the characters, we have most of like we have a lot of drama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and Ali are just messed up. We're messed up, and <laughs> I feel like a lot of people, especially going through the same situations, can relate to us. And sometimes they ask me questions as if I'm Ali, because I guess you know people. Yeah, we look alike, and um, <laughs> I can't necessarily answer them because I don't go through the exact yeah. problems. But Kids Health Phone is again another I kind of you know ship them over there because I can't give necessarily the best advice right. that they can give. Right. Well, you guys are great role models, of course. Um, so thank you for getting involved with Kids Health Phone. And tonight, a brand new episode, the uh, first part, the finale, Drop the World Part One, is on uh, 9 p.m. on Much Music. So how are these last two episodes going to play out? They're intense. Season 10 already has been such an intense season. So many things have gone on. And right now it's kind of going to a close. It's going to okay. end in a crash. Like there's so many things yeah. going on. Um, Was that a clue? Ooh. It could have been. <laughs> I like to overanalyze things, especially oh. when it comes to TV shows. Uh, you just said it's going to it's going to end in a crash. A cr yeah. It could be a boss. A boss could crash. Just saying. Who knows? It could be anything. <laughs> um, but no, it's going to be a great episode. It's, it's going to be great. Like tonight's episode, there's a... Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on between Jenna and KC. Mm -hmm. with the good, well, Je K Jenna's pregnant. Yes. So that so. will probably come to an end. <laughs> it has to at some point. Okay, so um, we've got a question actually from Maya right here, who's a big fan of Degrassi. So what's your question? I wanted to ask, uh, what kind of silly or awkward situations did you and Aislinn have off and on set, if there were any? Silly, silly situations. Um, or awkward. I, I, I don't know. There's nothing, there's nothing silly and awkward about it. Like there, it's always such a great time with Aizen. You know what I mean? Like, like I've, I've known Aizen for a long time. We worked together like five years ago, and to join the cast with her was fantastic. But there's never anything awkward between us. I think because we are such good friends, and it's a lot more fun when we are, like like love interest on the show so there's nothing silly about it I'm silly if that makes any sense. you are silly always cracking jokes with me I when Aislinn was here the first time I met her she um, said that you guys like go through a lot of intense fight scenes on the show but that when you shoot those you actually are like laughing as soon as the camera cuts <laughs> I, I can't I can't take her seriously when yeah. she yells at me. I just be hard. <laughs> Plus you are such an intense character that like you have to sort of do the opposite of that I would imagine once you're done shooting. Oh yeah, you can't you yeah. can't kind of get you have to get in that mindset because if, if you cross over then yeah. you, you, you kind of get, get stuck and yeah. never come yeah. back. <laughs> I get stuck in Eli's mind. My hair will always be on that side. <laughs> <laughs> on that side. Okay, so Drop the World Part 1 which is the first half of the Degrassi finale is airing tonight at 9pm on Matusic and my is coming back tonight. With, you're coming back tonight with Aislinn to hang out with me at Much Music so I guess we'll just see you later. Yeah, <laughs> Thank I guess you, Melinda. So. We're going to get back to the music for you guys.